Um, thank you, Nick. Uh, can you can you put the other DVD in? It's in. All right. I guess we're ready to go. Right uh, play, probably. Where did our friend go that knows how to start it? Yeah, I, I think you're supposed to be able to hit, uh, to uh, click the cursor on Wendy at work and it should start. Uh, yeah, yeah, sound and could someone get the lights? Can anyone turn the lights down? Yeah. Welcome to the den of iniquity. <laughs> lamps or something I found at a garage sale, but they were, I thought they were so beauty in the beast. In just a moment, uh, he's going to focus on the, um, this is actually an image of me in the mirror drawing, and he's going to uh, come over to the drafting table. There we go. Anybody recognize this? <laughs> this is the, uh, the big splash page of uh, Paracelsus on his little island. artistic decision to put uh, stairs on the island, which is what you see in the book. This is an example of one of the panels I did without reference. Uh, I just uh, wanted to capture the emotion. Linda and why she's so hard to capture, uh, basically what it is, is you'd be surprised how narrow her face actually is. Uh, when you meet her in person, it's not the same face that you see on camera. Uh, the camera does something, it widens her jaw, makes her face look a lot squarer. So it's, it's really very much two different people. I worked in Prismacolor pencil uh, using the terracotta, uh, dark terracotta, and then I uh, painted over it in watercolor. I'm talking about Vincent's pupils here because I, I was convinced they would be a bit more cat-like than they could show in the show, so I did that. No, it doesn't have to go for, this will go another three minutes or so.
But here's the uh, terracotta Prismacolor sketch of Father's Den before I painted it in watercolor. This was uh, a wonderful experience for me artistically because I'm sure, as you could see in the little ElfQuest movie, that ElfQuest is much more like manga. It's, it's definitely manga influenced, definitely cartoony. And uh, so I had to go from uh, years and years of, of doing exaggerated cartoon characters to uh, highly detailed and realistically rendered artwork. It was a challenge and uh, I loved it. First uh, uh, printing of a Portrait of Love, they printed 50,000 and sold out. And I think at this point I've signed almost 50,000 of them. <laughs> they wanted me to do a third one, but, but, but by that time I felt that I had uh, said all I had to say about Beauty and the Beast. Uh, you know, the love was there and I done a uh, night of beauty and given Vincent and Catherine a chance to say goodbye. And that was worth it to me. This is just more examples of the stuff I had all over the house. Uh, you know, just an eclectic bunch of stuff. That's an animation cell uh, for uh, ElfQuest. When ElfQuest was at CBS, that was painted for them. You know what, Nick? You can shut it off now because this, it kind of ends on this shot of the, this is one of the very first sculptures of uh, our hero cutter that uh, a fan did. So this is a good place to end it. Because I did go after Beauty and the Beast right back to ElfQuest and uh, been with it ever since. <laughs>